Hello, beautiful souls. Naomi Fox Reina here, light filled astrologer and human design expert. And I want to talk to you guys just quick today about the uninvited projector. So, um, received a question in the group by Trisha. She was asking um, about me doing a post or contributing some ideas about people who are projectors and when they offer unsolicited advice because they're uninvited, that it creates. Um, a trigger. It can trigger other people in a way that other aura types just can't. So to understand this in context, let's look at the other aura types. There's five aura types in human design. There's manifestors, generators, manifesting generators, projectors, and reflectors. And the manifestors are about 8% of the population. Generators are about 35%. Manifesting generators are about 35%. Projectors are about 21%. And reflectors are about 1%. So one in five people is a projector. The strategy for each of the aura types is really powerful. This is like the coolest thing about human design because it can jump over a lot of the struggles that many of us have been having our entire lives and help to explain why we're even having those struggles. So the manifester is here to inform. They're here to, to have their fabulous, brilliant, amazing ideas, and then to do the unnatural thing and pause for a moment and inform those with their voice, with their words, <clears throat> um, inform those that will be impacted by the actions that they are about to take, and then go do the thing. If they fail to inform, they find that they're often doing things alone and um, they have no help or support or um, a myriad of problems. Um, this results in anger, which is their not self. The generator is here to respond. So they need something external to them to respond to. Uh, and then once they respond, they check in. Once they have a response, they check in with their internal authority to see um, what is the right answer for them. That will either be emotional or sacral. So they'll either have to ride their emotional wave until they get their answer, or they will get that sacral authority that will give them an uh-huh or uh-uh, and then they can proceed from there. Oh, and if you're here live, do hashtag live. And if you're catching the replay, do hashtag replay. And manifesting generators are similar to generators in that they are here to respond, but they're a hybrid of the generator and the manifester in that they're here to respond and then inform. And so when they are not living true to themselves, similar to the generators, they will be very frustrated. Uh, Manny gens will also get angry on top of the frustration. Um, and they have the most energy of all of the aura types and the generators and manifesting generators when they are in alignment and they're doing something that really is like super good and lights them up and gives them that full body yes, they can just go, go, go. And it's amazing. Um, projectors are here to wait to be invited. Projectors have a unique aura. The manifestor's aura is repelling. So it basically, that's how they protect their undefined sacral is through the repelling aura because they don't just let everybody in. And so the generators have this big enveloping aura that's like, come on in, like I can handle your energy, like when they want to. And there could be other things that <laughs> generators are like, I don't want everybody in my space. But when you do want people in your space, it's very, very like enveloping. And then, um, and same for manifesting generators. The projector has a very penetrating aura. So it's like already skipping over people's boundaries. In a lot of ways, the projector is actually made to violate people's energetic boundaries. One in five people have this, and it's not necessarily that they're doing something wrong, um, but projectors are here to kind of skip over that. Uh, I am a projector myself, and my whole life, I've just known things about people. Not like a psychic, but where I just observe them, and I can just put the pieces together, or I can I can see energy with certain people. I can, um, I remember being really young and just sitting in church and looking around and knowing, like, which of my peers, older or younger, um, had been sexually abused or abused in whatever way or the family dynamics that were going on. Like information that I really didn't have any business knowing, but I just knew because I just knew. And so projectors have that ability where they're seeing more than what they're being told and um, they can kind of skip over. Now, this is true whether the projector knows they're a projector or not or whether they're healthy, emotionally healthy or not. And so this can be really weaponized in a lot of ways. Um, and just to touch base real quick, the reflector is here to wait for a lunar cycle and to experience surprise and their not self theme of how they'll know they're not living true to themselves is disappointment. Um, and their aura is more like Teflon. And so that helps to protect 
their undefined sacral a little bit, not as much as the manifestor, because it's the manifestors, the projectors, and the reflectors that have the undefined sacral energy, which is that go, go, go motor. And um, if you have not yet run your human design chart, you can do that at jovianarchive.com, J-O-V-I-A-N archive.com. So, um, and just make sure your birth data is accurate. So with the projector, their sacral center is the most susceptible to conditioning, to um, the not-self theme. So every single center that's undefined has a not-self theme, in addition to the entire aura. And the not, like, somebody could have every center defined except the sacral and be a projector, or they could have just two centers defined and be a projector, um, and everything in between. So all projectors have an undefined sacral, and they don't have a connection from one of the four motors to the throat. And if you don't understand that, that's okay. But that's what defines a projector. Projectors didn't exist before 1781. And it was at that point that the heart chakra split and became the identity center and the heart center in human design. And the solar plexus split and became the spleen and the solar plexus. And then we had emotional authorities at that point. And so when that happened, we started having projectors. And before that, there were no projectors on the planet. So projectors are fairly new and they are here to guide. Projectors are here to guide. They are not here to work. So if you are a projector or if you know someone who's a projector, you are not here to work and you get tired, physically tired, more easily than others because your aura is doing the work. You are not here to do lots of extreme labor. Now, when you are younger or if you are especially keen and determined to just um, do things your own way, <clears throat> you might find that um, you can just go, 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 go. Um, an undefined sacral center, specifically the projectors that's not living true to themselves, can look like the person that has the most energy. They can look like superhuman and um, they can be overexpressing energy. I was just explaining about being a projector to my parents who were in town a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I have lower physical energy than most people. And my mom was like, that's not true. You have more energy than anybody that I know. <laughs> I was like, that's because I was living in my not self, amplifying other people's sacral motors that were around me. And that's what we do. All undefined centers amplify the defined centers that they're physically around. And so if a projector is around a defined sacral motor, um, unless they have figured out for themselves, there's a really good chance that they are amplifying that energy and they will be the first one to jump up. They'll be the last one working. They'll be go, 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 go. And they will crash so hard <laughs> and they will crash and be kind of not able to get out of bed for days or weeks. Um, generators and manifesting generators can crash, but when they crash, it's more like for maybe a week, a few months at the most, like epic burnout would be like that for a generator, manifesting generator. A projector can crash and burn out for years, literally years of not functioning, not being able to even hold a part-time job. So, um, so projectors, when they're not living true to themselves, it's a very specific kind of struggle. Um, and we really suck at waiting to be invited before sharing our awesome wisdom. All of the, all of the strategies for the different aura types are actually very counterintuitive to the specific aura type. So like the manifestors have to stop before taking action and inform and the generators have to wait and then respond, even though they have this powerful sacral motor, just like buzzing all the time, ready to do stuff. They have to wait projectors have to wait for the invitation to share their glorious knowledge. So projectors are here to master a system, not necessarily to develop the system, but to take a system that already exists and to master it so that they can guide and direct and tweak and do like consulting. So like an ideal job for a projector would be to deeply study whatever the thing is that they're passionate about. Say it's like, um, I'm going to randomly pull this out. Like a specific type of medical equipment. They just know how it's supposed to work. They've mastered it. Somebody else built it, you know, decades and decades ago, but they have mastered it and they know it and they know it so well. And it's like the machines speak to them and they just get it. And like they would be paid very well to come into a company that's having a problem with that. And they would spend like 90 minutes 
trying to like to just resolve this thing and they get paid like ten thousand dollars because they just saved the company like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and everybody is so happy like that is a really like kind of extreme example but like very well illustrated of like what projectors do really well or if it's about people that they um that they wait to be invited before giving their insights and offerings about people now if you are a projector and you're like i don't know what my thing is like that's part of the waiting. In the waiting, you go and you learn about whatever it is that lights you up, whatever that you want to. You go study. I don't like, it could be like balloon animal making. It could be like um, how to run on the beach. It could be, um, you know, self care. It could be, um, you know, engineering, anything. Anything that you find really interesting is a calling for you and you need to go look into that, buy the books, do the programs like enroll in stuff like that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to be learning so that then you can offer really powerful advice and insight and so when projectors don't live true to themselves and they go around offering advice and insight because they do genuinely have advice and insight but if they aren't like pausing to really learn what they what they need to learn then they're offering like half cocked advice it's not often very good and they're shoving themselves through people so uh because their aura penetrates um, and it's already inside of other people, it is a huge violation of boundaries for them to just literally share anything without being invited. And this is probably the hardest thing for most projectors because they're like, how will anybody hear anything I have to say if I'm uninvited when I have some of the best ideas in the room? And it's like, yep, that's the kicker. <laughs> um, you just go about doing whatever it is you do. And of course, there's lots of nuances. You can look into your profile lines and you can look into your sun gate and like your incarnation cross and all of that for clues on like how to do this. But the um, you have to allow people to recognize you and to know that number one, you are not for everybody. There are people, there are a lot of people that will want nothing to do with what it is that you specialize in or what it is that you're here to guide about. And that is a hundred percent okay. There are literally billions and billions of people on this planet. If you only had like 200,000 of them that really, really were excited about what you had to say, that's plenty. Um, you're going to be fine. I am a deeply devout Christian and an astrologer and you better bet that pushes a lot of people's buttons, but this is what I'm called to do. And I love it. And there's more than enough people for me to teach. More than enough people that want exactly, precisely the way that I guide and that I teach. And so it doesn't always look like a coach or a mentor or like a that type of a thing. Like, But you're here to teach and guide something. Well, I'm a 2-5, so I'm extra here to teach. But you're here to guide and to consult and to tweak and to refine. So um, with all of that, what happens is when you are not living true to yourself and you're just going up and offering advice, you violate people's boundaries. And because of your partially accurate, but often very perceptive insights, you can trigger people because you can perceive, you do genuinely, you can perceive their, um, their inner workings better than, um, than others can. I'm not seeing any comments. If you guys are here on live, do hashtag live. And if you're catching the replay, do hashtag replay. Um, and so um, it's just really important to be super careful um, with this powerful gift that you have. And it doesn't feel like a gift at first until you see the contrast and then you realize like, oh, other people don't have this same thing. Um, I know very, very perceptive generators. Um, I'm surrounded by generators and they're so amazingly perceptive and I love it. And I was actually quite surprised that some of them weren't projectors because they had such deep insight. But there's something really unique about the way that the projector aura interacts with people. And so we specifically, and this is just to projectors and also to help those that are around projectors, we have to, to just understand them, but they still have to choose into this on their own. We just have to realize that we are already inside of others' identity center. Like that's actually where we pierce is to their identity center, like the, the yellow diamond in the middle on most, um, most charts. Um, but just like that yellow one that's like in the chest, like we see so, 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 so much. And, um, when we are invited, oh, it's amazing. If somebody came up and they were just like, Hey Sue, like, um, I have this question about this thing and I'm pretty sure you know a lot about it. Could you just like answer a few questions for me? I would really, 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 really appreciate it. It would be like, oh, the sun comes out and it's like, 
have seats, like stay as long as you need. Um, and then as we get more refined in it, it's like, awesome, yes, like here's how much my services are. Like I would love to work with you. And those that are really, really recognizing the projector are like, yes, I'm super happy to pay for this um, because we our energy is so limited that our knowledge and our insights is so valuable when we take the time to really nurture whatever that thing is that we want to learn about and um, we can ex achieve amazing success absolutely amazing and it will feel almost effortless it'll almost feel like it's not fair like how do i get paid so well to do this thing that i super love and other people are like i i, I had one hour with you and it changed my whole life like you have that ability to but you can see how that powerful and that potent of a gift can really really trigger people and so um, if you have projectors in your life that you feel triggered by, um, sometimes I'll be out somewhere and I'll see somebody that just can't stop talking. They can't stop offering their advice. And like, I can see that other people are like fed up with it or they're annoyed or they literally can't hear this person. Um, it's like, I would bet money that that person is a projector <laughs> because um, that was me. That was me for a super long time. Um, and I look back and I kind of cringe a little bit, but I love myself anyway, um, at like my attempts to try to help. Um, and the people who don't want to hear it, they, they will literally tell you to shut up sometimes. Um, I have an ex-husband who um, I was deep diving into a particular topic and he literally forbid me from speaking about it within earshot of him. I look back now and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's such a, such an unrecognized projector experience. And so as projectors, you need to be recognized by the people that you're around, especially your close people. Because if you're not recognized, oh my gosh, you will burn out so fast and it will be terrible and nobody will be able to hear or benefit from any of your wisdom. So you need to wait for the friendships, for the, the relationships, for um, like before even exerting yourself in your family or permanent family relationships, you need to wait to be invited. And the invitation comes after recognition. Because you could be invited to be like, hey, you look really able-bodied. Like, will you help me shovel manure? Um, and that's not really a recognized um, invitation that they're just looking for a warm body. But if somebody recognizes you for the gifts that you are like, hey, I really, I heard like five different people recommended you because you fix medical equipment and I have this problem and it's the specific brand that you specialize in. Like, I will literally pay you any amount. Please, please come. And I also just want to hear anything else, any other insights that you have would be amazing. Um, like it, it is the most incredible thing when you're properly recognized and especially if you spent a lot of time in a highly unrecognized situation and then you get to move to that. Um, nobody will be able to fully operate as their best self without being recognized and seen. Um, that's true for any aura type, but projectors have the ability to see others more readily, to really be able to tell them what they need to know about themselves if that is if the people is what they specialize in or about that thing um, and projectors need to be deeply seen which is um, often something that projectors don't wait very well for um, because we just charge on ahead and um, I can guarantee you if you're doing that and you're a projector you're probably quite exhausted so <laughs> I um I was just telling my sweet husband Ralph last night that I have a soapbox and I believe that every single person that wants to should get a uh, human design reading from a projector and um that um and then you should also have a human design reading by somebody who is your also your same aura type if you're not a projector um because both I think are incredibly valuable um because if you're a generator like I can only read about it, feel it, know it, understand it, like to an extent, but I'm not a generator. And so generators need to have sessions with generators. Manifestors need to have sessions with manifestors. But I also believe that every single person should have a human design reading um, and astrology from a projector because they will be able to see things that others can't. So that's my plug there. <laughs> um, also, if you're still watching this, I have a really cool... Um, how am I going to do this? I'm kind of doing this on the fly because I don't want to post the link. I want this to only be for people that have watched to this point. So Donnie Angel and I did a retreat back in February that was glorious. It was so fun. She taught core values and I taught human design 
And for any who were there, please feel free to comment about it because it was it was so, so, so amazing. And um, by popular demand, we are doing another one and we have booked the dates. So if you want early access, like I don't, Donnie and I have been swapping Marco Polos about this um, and just kind of talking like it's probably time to announce the dates. Um, if you want early access to that and you want to or just to mark it off on your calendar, let me just pull up the dates really quick because I'm like I said, I'm doing this on the fly. Um, you can message me and I will send you the link to be able to sign up. So it is going to be July 28th, 29th and 30th and 31st. Um, or maybe the 29th, 30th, and 31st. We are making it a little bit longer than the last one because we are actually making time for 15 minute sessions for every single person, which doesn't sound like very much, but 15 minutes after all that group instruction can change your entire life. Um, we really, we got the chance to meet with some people while we were there and we were like, oh no, we need, we need to make time for this. Um, it's phenomenal. So core values is like what drives you and like the things that live in your bones. And Donnie Angel was literally born to teach about this. And, um, human design is absolutely wildly impactful. So like if you have people that you work with, if you run a team or something like that, bring them, um, Oh dear. <laughs> yes. Would love to have you at a retreat, Anna. Um, and so, um, but if you have people like a spouse, a, a significant other, a child, we had a couple of parents there with their young adult children was really amazing. Um, and, uh, it just was, it was a really powerful dynamic and, um, everything just went so, so smooth. And the biggest thing, the only thing really that we're changing at all is that we're adding that extra component of time. So, um, send me a message if that's something that you want. Um, and I will send you the link so you can be one of the first to sign up because it is very limited. Um, we are just doing it in a nice luxury home here in St. George, Utah. And it, um, yeah, that would be amazing, Joe. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I would love to have you there. So, um, if, uh, if that's something you're interested in, I'll send you the link with all the details, but we're not sharing the link yet. So good job for you for guys for staying on as long as you did. And I hope that was helpful about the uninvited projector. Oh, and if you guys would like a series, I've been thinking about doing a series for each of the aura types and kind of going into more detail about, um, what the strengths are and the not self of like the manifester and then the generator and the manifesting generator. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in because I could fit that into my schedule and do that for you. So, okay. Love you. Mwah.